A man who managed to damage a 150,000 pound sculpture said he climbed it because he was bored. Hunter McDonald scaled a metal pole on the artwork entitled Water Whirler, which sits on the waterfront in Wellington, New Zealand. He swung out over the water, but the stunt went wrong when the piece of art snapped and he plunged into the sea. Crowds can be heard egging him on and then gasping as he drops into the water and emerges with a bloody head. Today Hunter has apologized and admitted he is likely to face the wrath of the law. Speaking to TVNZ, he said, I started to perform some of my newfound gymnastics skills and one thing led to another. I seem to attract a bit of an audience, Hunter McDonald loves a good audience, he's a bit of a showman, and I started to test the limits of the metal sculpture. He added, it my day off, I was bored. It was a nice day. The pole itself has rungs, and to an idiot like me, it looks like a ladder, there wasn't a sign that says don't climb. The metal sculpture snapped and hit him on the head. Hunter said he rose out of the water coughing and spluttering and managed to doggy paddle to the side. He added, at that point, I realized I had made a serious mistake. Hunter said he had not meant to damage the sculpture which was made by late artist Linlay. It cost $300,000 £150,000 to make but installation in 2006 pushed the final bill to $1 million, £500,000. The prankster apologized saying it was not his intention to damage any property. Speaking to stuff.co.nz, he added he didn't think it would snap under his weight and even appeared to blame the crowd for his ill-judged stunt. He said with the people there watching I felt the need to give the people what they want. Hunter has two gashes into his head and has also damaged his left leg. Roger Horrocks, who was Lai's personal assistant in the final year of his life, said the artist would have been deeply hurt by the sheer idiocy of Hunter who saw it as a climbing frame and not a work of art. Hunter said he hadn't realized at the time it was a piece by Lai who he referred to as clearly a big deal. Wellington City Council said it was too early to say how much water whirler will cost to fix, although it is likely to be covered by insurance. Hunter is expecting a court date after being spoken to by the police. He said he was willing to do whatever is required to show remorse. However that is unlikely to extend to covering the entire bill. He said he hasn't got two nickels to rub together. They were throwing big figures at me, that's a hundred thousand dollars, that's taxpayer money, figures that I couldn't even fathom, he added. <laughs>